When the sun goes down in equatorial Africa, it gets dark within minutes. Here in rural Rwanda, there is no electricity. A kerosene lamp is the only way to defy the darkness. Twelve-year-old Rebecca does her homework in the pale lamplight. A tragic accident when she was tiny scarred her for life. Her mother, Vestine, will never forget that moment of inattention. <coughs> inattention. Die Lampe auf den Boden gefallen. Die Vorhänge hatten schon Feuer gefangen. Ich versuchte, die Flammen auszutreten, damit das Feuer sich nicht weiter ausbreitete. Dabei ist ein Teil des Vorhangs auf Rebeccas Gesicht gefallen und hat sie verbrannt. In addition to causing accidents like this, kerosene accounts for 150 million tons of carbon emissions annually. It's a fossil fuel that damages the climate. So in the capital Kigali, a team of inventive engineers and entrepreneurs are working on an alternative. After all, the mobile phone industry has already shown that technological innovation can thrive in remote regions. But Samir Haji, the driving force behind the project, knows there's a major obstacle. Yes. But the reality is that in 1974% of, of Sub-Saharan Africa had access to electricity. In 2011 it was 10%, you know, 6% added to the grid over the past 40 years. It's not really a, a fantastic record. Um, and so we, we recognize that and are trying to develop a solution here that's going to address the problem immediately. Bright LEDs are a first step. Since using them reduces carbon emissions, they generate carbon credits money that Samir reinvests. Samir and his colleagues are testing their Nuru lights in a pilot project. They hire local entrepreneurs who know their customers very well. Demand was enormous, but there was the issue of how to recharge the batteries. At first, they were experimenting with solar technology, but they soon recognized that that was too short-sighted. Although there is a common perception that the sun is always shining in, in Africa, uh, there are many months during the year, during rainy seasons, for example, where the sun isn't shining as, as you would expect, uh, and solar isn't the most uh, reliable technology. So, you know, we, we looked at solar initially when we were doing product development, uh, and, you know, we decided that, you know, there was an another untapped uh, energy source in rural Africa, uh, which has been used for centuries, and that's human power. Entrepreneurs become energy providers. Their muscle power feeds a simple generator. 20 minutes of pedaling can recharge five batteries. That costs 10 cents a light, a fraction of the price of kerosene. With normal use, the batteries last a whole week. What could be more efficient? Martin Uwayezu earns money both by recharging batteries and by selling the lights. And he has plenty of customers. My business keeps growing and growing. Last year I sold 175 Neuro lights, and I think this year I can almost double that to 300. The LED lights aren't just brightening up everyday life in rural Rwanda. They're also helping to tap economic potential. Daniel is one of many fishermen in the wetlands along the Akanyaru River. He's using soap as bait to catch nocturnal catfish. The bait is prepared during the last minutes of daylight and then set out. As soon as it's dark, the bait has to be taken in again. Orientation is difficult in the marshes. So many of the fishermen here have now bought Martin's Nuru lights. It makes their work much easier. Reeling in the nets and laying out the bait again used to be much harder with kerosene and flashlights. Oh. 
In a few hours, a dozen catfish are caught. Profit margins are tight, so Daniel and his fellow fishermen have to use the night as efficiently as possible. It's only since they've had the LEDs that the catch has become really profitable. Now the fishermen can finally put a little money aside. These LEDs have really changed my life. I used to use an electric torch and had to spend lots of money on batteries. Almost nothing was left for me. You have to understand I was penniless. I come from the street. But now that I can cover my costs, I've been able to buy a house for a quarter of a million francs. And I can even get married. Making use of equatorial nights far from the power grid has become easier and safer thanks to LED technology. Rebecca has been scarred by kerosene, but she's looking optimistically to the future. At least the darkness will no longer keep her from studying.